Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to model organic facade like this in Rhino. Now you can download all the source files from the battery page and it is going to be for free for the next six months. So without further ado, let's we'll start. So the first thing that we are going to do is modeling the mass. I started by creating three point box, extracting the edges and creating a layer for the mass and inside it a layer for the curve, a layer for the surfaces, then placing these curves inside the the curves layer and set all the scroll cluster on and start creating surfaces using sweep to rail and i'm using the right mouse click to for faster workflow now i will start creating two more masses using the same method and then uh, log the layer the surface layer and start adjusting the curves rebuilding the curves first and then I start adjusting them based on our design preferences I will speed this part up since I already created a tutorial about how to model and design an organic mass like this in Rhino. I will leave the link for it in the description below. And just a reminder, make sure to set all the record history on while modeling uh, everything to be able to adjust the mass later, later on. Also make sure to organize the model using layers. Okay, after finishing the mass, we will start modeling the facade. Okay, so I will start by going to the top view. So double click to minimize uh, perspective and double click to maximize the top view. And I'm going to create a new layer. Let's call it uh, organic facade. And let's add a sub layer and three more layers. So first one, let's name it curves also. Let's give it maybe blue color. Okay, let's select it. So I'm going to create a rectangle, three point rectangle. Let's set the width to maybe two meter and the height three meter. Now let's create a linear array. Let's set it to maybe eight. And no, I think maybe six would be fine and create something maybe like this. And for the height, let's right click to bring the linear array again. Select this one and let's set it to four and create something maybe like this. Now let's select the curves and type bounding box to create this bounding rectangle now let's create an offset of maybe two meter let's do this one okay now i'm going to create a layer and let's name it cladding and then next layer metal frame and this one let's name it this one window frame window frame and this one window glass and let's assign different colors to them maybe this one some kind of color like this and for the window frame something like this and for the glass some kind of blue okay let's create a surface okay now before creating the surface i'm going to offset this one let's set curves to offset maybe 1.25 Okay, now let's create a surface, select all the curves, hold control to select this one and choose cladding layer and choose surface from planner curves. So we have this surface. Now for this one, let's select these two curves and choose the window frame and came here and create a surface. Now for the glass panel, select this layer and create a surface if you want to change the layer of anything you can come here in the properties and choose the layers that you want but let's give it everything like this for now okay now let's hide these curves so let's give the curves and hide them let's add thickness to everything so select this surface and extrude with height of 0.5 okay and for this one let's select this one and extrude 0.2 by moving it using this circle and this one 0.02 let's switch to the wireframe select the glass panel type 
type move let's move it from the middle here and move it to the middle of the frame now i want to create a copy in this remaining opening let's go to the top view select the glass panel and frame open the project and choose rectangular array so here's the numbers one two three four five six and here is four so in the x direction we want six and in the y we want four and in z we want one move it let's close also move it something like this then right click and for all the windows let's move it also in the middle so select all these windows switch to the wireframe let's move it from let's close the project let's move it from here from the center here and move it up to the middle here so everything is in the center so now let's unlock the curves so to map this to map this facade into this surface we are going to use flow along surface which is this one from the transform tab but to use the trans uh, the flow along surface we need the object and a base surface so to create the base surface i'm going to open unhide the curves let's create a new layer and let's name it reference surface it's selected select this curve and go here and create surface from planner curve so we are going to use this surface to as a base surface now let's hide the curves again now un let's unlock let's unlock the curves here and let's hide these curves okay but it's not going to make a big difference okay so now we are going to use a flow along surface but for doing so i will, I will select all the the object in these three layers so select this one and hold control to select these three layers together and right click and choose select sublayer object and hold con uh, control g to make them in one group or you can group them from here so now type flow along surface or you can select it from here flow along surface select this object select this group right click and then in the setting make sure auto adjust are set to no preserve structure no constraint normal no and rigid no and copy yes now select the base surface which is this surface then the target surface so now we can start adjusting if we change the normal direction of this surface it's going to be reflected in this one so let's swap uh, u and v right click as you can see the direction have been changed then right click and let's reverse it's a v direction and it's uh, as you can see we can adjust the orientation of the mapping by changing the u and v of this surface of the base surface so i'm going to repeat this process for the remaining surface so type flow along surface select the object right click select the base surface select the target and so on so i'm going to repeat this right click to bring the command again select the, the surface the object select the base surface select the target right click to bring the command select this one this one this one right click to bring the command again select this one this one and this one select the object right click select the base select the target as you can see here, the, the facade have been placed inside the surface, not outside it. So let's do this for now. And to fix this problem, I'm going to create another copy of all this object, the facade and the paste surface. So select everything and hold Alt and move using the gamble. And I'm going to burge history for this. So type burge history. Now I'm going to use this copy. Uh, using flow along surface, so type flow along surface, select the object, right click, then select the base surface and select the facade. So now I can change the U and V of the surface. So let's reverse the V direction. So as you can see, it is outside. So, uh, so we have these two for the two direction. So let's now the flow along surface, select this base. Like this. So let's repeat the processes.
Okay, this one is inside, so I'm going to use this base surface instead. So flow along surface, select this flow along surface, select this one, right click, select this base surface, select this target surface. Okay, here we go. As you can see, now we mapped all this facade into these masses. So now let's adjust the material. I'm going to apply material using uh, the layers. So let's switch to the render mode and let's came here in the cladding. Let's click on the circle and came here and select the new material custom. Let's name it metal cladding and let's give it a texture. I downloaded this texture from SketchUp Club. Let's, let's use this one. It's okay. And for the window frames, let's give them uh, black metal. Black metal. Let's give the, them black color, add some glossiness and some reflection, reflectivity. And for the window glass, same thing. Let's come here and create a glass. Let's give it blue tint and add some transparency, some reflection and some glossiness. Okay. Okay, now let's add thickness to this part, the offset surface. Click on it to reverse the direction, make sure all of them is up. Make the thickness maybe 0.25. No, right click. Okay, that's great. So now let's adjust the texture mapping. So I'm going to select all these walls. To, to select all of them at once, you can come here, right click and choose uh, select sub layer objects. Let's just deselect, hold control to deselect this few. All the surfaces and let's get to the texture mapping. It's already set to surface. Let's adjust the repetition. Set the repetition here maybe to 10, maybe five. Yeah, maybe six. And for this one, 10 maybe. Yes, this is starting to look better. Seven, eight. Yeah, okay. This looks good. Let's ungroup this object. Let's ungroup this one. Um, I think I want to select some other object. Let's come to the texture mapping again. I think I will set this to to seven. Just six and this to ten. I want to rotate this one, so I ungroup it and let's come to the texture mapping here and came here and rotate by 90 degree. Let's rotate this one too, ungroup, select this both surface, rotate it by 90. Now we can hide this surface. We can hide these curves too. Okay, yeah. That's it. And since we created all this object using record history, we can now came here to the curve layer, lock this and select all these curves. Type F10. If we did any adjustments here, maybe move this up like this, or let's switch to the wireframe and start moving this control points like this. As you can see, everything is going to update. And this is amazing. This is why record history is very powerful. And we can also adjust this facade. By the way, if we came here, let's keep it in the wireframe. If I came here and hold Control Shift Select, let's unlock this for now. If I came here and hold Control Shift and maybe start moving this, maybe something like this. As you can see, all these windows have been updated. If I can maybe hold Control Shift and start scaling this windows, something like this. Okay, now let's come here, start scaling this. As you can see, all these windows have been updated too. But let's press control Z for now. Looks okay like this. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.